Good morning, everybody, and I hope everybody is having a great, great weekend thus far. Just leaving work, I got called in this morning to go fix a yield sign, so I got that taken care of. Now I'm heading out to Lowe's and O'Reilly. I need to pick up some more uh, tips for my RTV when I did my diff cover last week. Uh, the way I do it is I don't, I just take and I put the regular cap back on that tube and I throw them little cutoff tips away. You can buy those tips in an O'Reilly Advance, any place like that. So it's easier just to buy a new one instead of trying to clean that out and reuse it. And just put your regular cap back on there and throw that tube away that's full of silicone because you're more than likely you're not going to be able to get it cleaned out anyway. So moving on, I guess I just I'm trying to think of an economical way to route my. Uh, crankcase breather that's on the front of my timing cover that covers my BP44 nut. You know, I've got some things that I'm trying to work on as far as the valve cover and different areas like that. So I'm going to be changing that venting and, you know, putting a solid cover on there. So I just want to, to buy that molded rubber hose and then the catch can and everything, it's almost like $100. And I just don't want to spend that money right now when I'm gonna be changing all that around. So, and it's just blowing crap all over the front of the engine. So I need to pick up, I'm out of purple power and I need to pick up a thing of that and try and think of a different way. Now, when I first purchased the truck, they had just a short piece of rubber hose on that going into a barb and then they had like PVC ran up beside the valve cover in between the intake horn and then clear down beside the transmission. And I just thought that looked kind of gaudy. I didn't really like the look. So I'm just trying to think of a way, I don't know if I'm gonna use PVC again and like come up and over and then straight down. But I'm, I'm gonna go into O'Reilly. I gotta pick up them tips anyway. And I'm gonna see if they possibly have that molded rubber hose or see if they have, you know, a molded rubber hose that's like 5 8 that goes over and comes down. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of a different way to route that and uh, that's economical, that isn't gonna cost me, you know, $30, $40 because I'm gonna be throwing it away in the future anyway. So I'm gonna run into O'Reilly, I'm gonna pick them tips up and see if they have anything I could possibly use. Well, I had pretty good luck in O'Reilly. Uh, just leaving Lowe's, had to go in there and grab a barb because they don't have them over at O'Reilly. And also while I was in here, I was looking for the grinder that I want. Uh, DeWalt come out with an XR grinder and it is a DCG 413B, B meaning bare tool. It's an, uh, a battery powered 20 volt max uh, brushless. Um, I have all of my stuff is DeWalt, so I wanted to pick that up. Seems like none of the Lowe's stores has them in stock. I always have to order one. And when I was in there, I had them check and they said they had one on hand. So I got uh, kind of excited that I was ever going to be able to take that home today. but. Of course, they said their count was probably off. Anyway, what I found in uh, O'Reilly was this piece right here. And that is that part number right there. And it is a Gates product. There's the part number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. And that'll go into the crate case vent there. And then I have a piece of 5 8 hose. Whoops. As I drop it on the floor, I have a piece of 5 8 home hose at home, and I'll just extend it down, you know, close to the ground. I picked up a barb to be able to extend it. This hose was $13. This was $3. So right now I've got, you know, $16 in that. Now, granted, the one, you can order one from eBay. It's like $21. I'll show you a picture of what it is. That's what you know. the actual hose is supposed to look like off of eBay. And then it goes into a canister, like a catch can or something like that, clear down the bottom. And then, you know, I just didn't want to have to go through getting all that stuff. I didn't want to have to wait to order it. So, you know, while I was in O'Reilly, I did do a part number search for that hose. Of course, they didn't have it. So basically what we did was we went back to where all their molded rubber hose was and just started looking and seeing what sizes and everything they had and that's what I was able to find so 
you know, luckily enough, that will work out pretty good for me and uh, we'll be able to get that on there and basically redirect everything down to the ground. Now, it is gonna, you know, it doesn't, there's not a whole lot of oil that comes out of there, so, you know, you may have some mess on the bottom, so we'll just have to degrease that once I get everything done that I want to, as far as, you know, doing my venting out of the valve cover and closing that off completely. So, also another thing I wanted to show you too, you know, I told you that you could buy these replacement tips at O'Reilly, so this is what I wanted to show you, and this is the, right there. You can use it. Basically, this is the tip that comes with your RTV, and just throw that away and buy these. I think these are like $2.99, and you get four of them. Right now, I gotta stop and get some chicken and get it marinated, because we're gonna have some chicken on my grill tonight uh, for supper, and go home and start working on all these little projects and get some of this stuff uh, buttoned up from what I wanted to do. Well, with many years of buildup and sludge on there, as my wife walks behind me, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I've done that probably about four or five times, trying to get all that cleaned off of there, and it just keeps building up, and along with having that crankcase be there open like that, it just keeps dumping more out. So, today I'm gonna try and alleviate that for the time being. You know, I was just at O'Reilly this morning, and picked up them parts and stuff, and this is what I picked up, like I showed you earlier. This is the part number here. I don't actually know what this is for. Well, after answering the phone, going in and grabbing a rehab, I kind of lost track of where I was at. Yeah, that's empty. I've already finished it and drank it. I kind of lost track where I was at. Anyway, this is the piece that I picked up from O'Reilly this morning. There's the part number. I think I've already showed you that. It is a Gates. I'm not sure what this fits, but you know, like I had showed you before on my phone, basically I'm gonna take these two pieces, since this isn't long enough, I have a brass barb, I'm gonna use my clamp tight tool and put these two together like this. And then that'll go down and then drip basically on the ground instead of all over the top of my engine where it's what it's doing now. But hopefully, if I can get everything squared away and with the guys on these and get things taken care of, I'm gonna have a really cool product um, that's possibly gonna be available for you too. So I'm hoping, I'm trying, got my fingers crossed. Um, guys cross your fingers for me too. I'm working on it behind the scenes with a couple of different people to try and get some stuff done. And um, yeah gonna try and do that but what I'm gonna do is I don't want that to sit up that high so I'm gonna trim just a little bit of this off maybe about an inch or so so it sits down just a little bit lower um, on my engine compartment I was able to clean everything off with that being uncovered with I don't even know I have some plastic caps I just set this one over there um, it's like a rubbery cap because it's got oil and crap all over it now from being on that crankcase breather so Anyway, rambling, getting back to what I need to do is put these two ends together, cut that off of there, and get this on the truck. Like I said, I want to trim just about, just enough off to where that'll sit down and start going up and making this bend right here. So I'm going to trim just about an inch off of it. My blade's getting, so I need to change it. And then I want to make sure this end is good and square. And 
and then that barb will go in here like this and then in here like this and then I'll take my clamp tight tool and I'll put a clamp tight band around both of those and then there is my crankcase breather hose that I basically kind of just threw together from some pieces and parts from O'Reilly this morning and Lowe's. The barb came from Lowe's. That's just a five inch double barb. After you get that wrapped around, it goes over this pin, over the pins up front, underneath these pins here, and then on top and twisted, and then you just start tightening everything up. And as you start to get things tight, you'll just go through and straighten up your wires. You can use a pair of pliers for this too. Then you just twist until everything is good and tight. Pull your tool out, cut them ends off, and push them down. Well, I got both of those clamped up to there. I think I really like that clamp tight. It does a really nice job. So on this end, I am gonna use a hose clamp just so I can remove it if need be um, and take that off of there because I am gonna be taking this back off eventually to put on that um, common rail. Basically, it's a CP3 nut cover instead of a VP44 VP nut cover. So right now, I'm gonna get this fed in place and where it needs to be and then what I'll, where I want to route it down below and tighten up that hose clamp and be all done with this. All right, hose clamp is tight. It's kind of tucked down low like I wanted it and actually I routed it down here and then was able to tuck it in between the frame and the steering box and then in between the anti-sway bar and my steer box, steering box brace. So got it routed out and away from the harmonic balancer. So, you know, you would think I just decrease everything on the front of the engine. So it's always lurking and it's always hiding. And it's just, it's hard to get it completely torn off or get it completely cleaned off. So, but that's coming. I, I, I think there's some things I have planned. There's some things I wanna do that um, I'm gonna be pay, taking basically the whole front of the truck off. Well, not the whole front of the truck, basically just take this cross member off, take the intercooler out, move the AC condenser out of the way, take the radiator out. Basically there's some something, some things on the front of the truck that I wanna do and get done, and all that stuff has to be moved out of the way. So you guys have to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification to make sure that you guys don't miss a thing. So right now time has escaped me i did not get time to get my front diff fluid changed so that's gonna have to wait for another day and in the meantime guys if you don't mind hit that like button give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already done so and we'll talk to you guys later on Bye bye